Hello everyone and welcome to episode 117 of Report This Post, the podcast about bad posts and bad people. My name is Geiger and that is Christian. Do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the posts. And we are your hosts with those posts. Every week, Christian, myself, or a listener select a different topic and then find horrible posts for your listening pleasure. And this week's topic, as chosen by a listener named Rob, is Buddhism. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, Christian, how did Rob choose this topic? Uh, Rob joined the $25 level over on patreon.com slash report this post. That's right. And then uh, he got himself a, a t-shirt. He got a drawing from me, uh, which I believe he still needs to choose. So, Rob, if you're listening, let me know. Mm -hmm. And he got to choose an episode topic, which he chose Buddhism. Buddhism, that's right. Uh, wh uh, what is that? It is a non-theistic -the religion, which means there's no uh, creator or god based upon it, mm -hmm. uh, based based around it, uh, and it's more so a philosophy and moral discipline, really, I would say. And it originated in India in the 6th and 5th century BC, founded by the sage Siddhartha Gautama. Mm. Cool. Well, so uh, it's something I've certainly heard of. Uh, like uh, many recent topics, I know of its existence, but couldn't tell you much about it. Uh, yeah, I've always, I my my always uh, assumption as a youth was mm -hmm. it was the. Uh, <laughs> now you're Go you're, on. you're you're preparing for something racist, but it's not going to be. Uh, it was the uh, religion that, if you were cool, you would be into. Ah, uh, okay. Or at least it, it, it allowed leeway to be cool. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it, what you if you were like, hey, I'm I'm gonna do cool stuff. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna become a Baptist. You know, you you understood that there was uh, religions that you could be a little more have a little more uh, leeway in your uh, your free life. As a little more pizzazz. Sure, sure. Yeah, so it's like on your scale, it's like Amish, Mennonite. <laughs> yep, top <Baptist>. two. Baptist. <laughs> the two coolest, of course. Amish and oh, Mennonite. Oh, I was going from bottom to top. Oh, but, uh, wow, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, so um, it has like a mystical thing to I also probably up until like, I don't know, 11 months ago, didn't know the difference between B Buddhism and Hinduism, if, okay. there, if there even is one, couldn't tell you. It seems to be the same letters just mixed up, so uh, might be some <laughs> sort of weird anagram thing. Now, I thought you were going to say you were into it uh, because of the, the use of the swastika throughout uh, mm. Buddhist sculptures and stuff. Now, what is that? Now, f <laughs> uh, we, have, we have fun, folks. Uh, for more on that, listen to... Uh, this week's bonus episode about okay. Hanukkah. <laughs> now, <laughs> what is your relationship with Buddhism, if you, if any? Uh, none. There's no overlap with Buddhism in my life whatsoever. I have probably touched the belly on a Buddhist statue, leaving a Chinese mm. restaurant on a number of occasions. That's mm. about as close as I've gotten <laughs> to yeah to Buddhism. I touch my belly every time I eat because I'm fat. But there's no spiritual thing to it, right? Uh, Buddhism? I mean, it's a, it's Buddhism. No, my 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 oh. gorging on. Fried I don't know. Foods. That's that's your own thing, man. Yeah. Whatever makes you feel good. Sure. Buddhism is all spiritual. It's all that's sort of the yeah. whole thing. It's spiritual, but there's also a philosophy to it as well, which seems to boil down to uh, you know, chill out, be cool, you know. Yeah. Don't worry about too there many is, things. There is there is no spoon. That's a, a mm. Buddhist thing. Mm. Wow. That, that reminds me of something. Yeah, does it? Well, should we just dive in and start I right with that very thing? We shall. <laughs> so, user Swim Sen posted in Our Buddhism Does the Matrix have a lot of Zen Buddhist references, or is it just me and my interpretations of what they are saying? And then in uh, quotes, there is a difference between walking the path and knowing the path, etc., etc. Quotes from Samuel Jackson. 
Can't remember how Morpheus or however it was is spelled. Thoughts? Great, just a great post in general. <laughs> Queltar underscore commented, it's not just you. I reference it a lot myself and it has played a significant role in my path. It goes much deeper even than most fans realize. It must have been written by a very aware person or persons or came through them. Hmm. It might be considered a spiritual classic in the future, hmm. but then again, it might be ignored by future generations. So many people miss the message and messages anyways. And uh, R Vegas 13 added, just so you know, Morpheus is played by an actor by the name of Lawrence Fishburne, <laughs> not Samuel Jackson. <laughs> Well, to be fair, the guy said he doesn't remember how it's spelled, so <laughs> maybe he meant to type Lawrence Fishburne, the thing but he's is, just he, way off. The thing is, he did spell Morpheus correctly that in is the, the post, thing, though. <laughs> it's, it's very odd that he got that. He got it completely right. I've st I can't believe people still do that. Uh, it's like, j you know, you can just check to see you how it's google spelled. It, two seconds to google it yep if you're making a post or what like because <laughs> I, I i have like work emails where it's stuff like that where i'm like come come on man these are this is theoretical uh, a, a professional setting right sure now i guess reddit where uh, you're on our buddhism with a guy who used the also, just the wrong quotes, quotation mark. I don't know what <laughs> <Yeah>. those are. <laughs> like double carrots. I don't know. He was Compl being zen with it, I guess. Yeah. Well, he sucks. Um, but Matrix, great movie. Is it? Hmm. Tried to watch it recently, but uh, didn't get too far because I was trying to watch it with a 10-year-old girl. <laughs> Which sounds weird until you realize I'm talking about my daughter. Which is also weird, but a different kind of weird. Than <laughs> she was, uh, she wasn't digging the uh, 1999. Mm. Uh, is that was is that 99? Sure is. Ten years <sighs> before she was born. My God. Uh, yeah, she was. She, she, like this. This is the pinnacle of film <laughs> from from my uh, <sighs> pretty much my like, high school days. Yeah. Oh boy. It really takes itself seriously. Um, much like uh, Buddhist themselves, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I uh, maybe I don't know. I mm. where the wrong people to ask, folks. <laughs> um, now, Christian, are you familiar with corpse meditation? I am not. So, a quick Google search told me this: it's typical for monks to meditate while in the presence of or looking at dead bodies. Mm, Sometimes okay. it is a literal body; other times, a photo. In fact, many monks actually carry photographs depicting deaths or bodies in various stages of decomposition, and such photographs can be purchased at religious shops throughout Thailand. Mm -hmm. The Buddha himself can even recommended corpse meditation, and it is a widely respected practice. So on that topic, here's a question from our Buddhism. Death metal as substitute for corpse meditation? <laughs> is it possible that death metal fans are doing corpse meditation without realizing it? Could that be its attractiveness? Since we don't have charnel ground accessible, which are above ground sites where people are left to decompose uncovered, should we meditate in graveyards? That doesn't seem appropriate to me. <laughs> if not death metal, how are we to disenchant, untangle ourselves when we notice we're having a painful amount of fun? Mm. Mm. User Bobanik responded, The charnel ground meditation center around the decomposition and decay of the body. Meditating in a graveyard doesn't accomplish that because it's just an open field with some stone. Okay. If you had the opportunity to observe an autopsy, that would be closer <laughs> to corpse meditation than death metal. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, of course. Yeah, that thing we all have easy access mm -hmm. to. Just, uh, just hey, yeah. <laughs> go heading on down to the morgue. Hey, <laughs> well, if request. You, if you use a gun and make yourself known, <laughs> then you can easily get in there and... Take a gander. Um, you got the robes on. You just pull, you're pulling out a, a Beretta out of the folds of your robes and just pointing at the woman yeah. at the desk like, I'm going to need to go back. Just there. like Neo, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, just like Neo. Yeah, he's, you got the little sunglasses on. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems like we, uh, because the whole thing that uh, we saw with the initial uh, description was that you can just use a, a photo. So. That should be very easily defined online, right? 
Yeah, just go to 4chan. To... <laughs> You'll find yeah. thousands of them. No reason to go to a graveyard. Oh, God. Uh, the idea of carrying around, although it's for uh, spiritual reasons, the idea of carrying around... The guy, <laughs> guy's yeah. just like opening his wallet. And it's just like you don't want to see that photos. pop out at the bar. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, can I can I grab that real quick from you? Yeah, sorry, it's a it's for meditation. It's, yeah, it's right for next meditation. to my condom that fell out too. Just the guy horrible at picking up ladies. <laughs> I got two things right here: the uh, left oh. hand, <laughs> the right hand. You pick which one. Real blue yeah, the, pill, the, red pill. It's a. I'm, I'm a Buddhist. The one's like just like back. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a Ugh. Buddhist. Uh, say, mind if I fuck you? <laughs> uh, this guy might uh, he might uh, need some info for this next from the next post I have here. Uh, user spinning cyborg posted can't seem to stop masturbating in our Buddhism. Mm. For certain amounts of time, I have had a lot of motivation to stop masturbating, but this always seems to last only for a few days. I always end up giving into a certain sense of pleasure, especially. Have you guys managed to stop your masturbation habits or have you tried? Hmm. And the original vision, which is spelled out with ones, responded. Sure. One reason you feel so bad afterwards is that you deplete your chi. There are ways to keep your vital force and protect, participate sexually. When a woman loses her egg, it causes a weak or physical emotional strain. When a man loses his seed, those strains on the body and mind occur within hours. Post-ejaculation for a man is like mentally and physically having a woman's period in a compressed time. Mm. It takes everything you breathe, drink, and eat for around three full days for the body to reproduce the fluid lost. Every resource for three days. It's quote-unquote expensive, biologically speaking. And BB Balls responded, <laughs> that would mean masturbating would be the absolutely best method for weight loss for men. This is plainly not the mm. case, so you may want to rethink your understanding of <laughs> biology and physics. Yeah, I believe myself and most of our listeners can attest to that as well. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't seem to have a much I'm of a dump- help. <laughs> I'm dumping out cups of this stuff and I cannot lose a single pound. <laughs> Yeah, a bucket a day. It's just for some reason nothing. I'm still eleven thousand pounds. Um, <laughs> yeah, th- this is a. I noticed in uh, our Buddhism, as we'll see in, in other posts, that uh, people ask just about every possible question you can ask, thinking it has something to do with Buddhism. Buddhism, sure. Um, like some anything they have going on, like my my uh, my car can't start. What do you guys think? You know, just it's like wow. Am I, am I not willing enough to to accept that the car will not start? Yeah, is it a problem with my chi? Now, what is chi? That's something chi, I've heard of forever. That's a that's a for, uh, life force energy mm. of sorts. Let's oh. look it up here quick. It is uh, uh, Chi Hair Care and Styling Products is a Houston-based company of hairdressers. Oh, wow. that's, uh, that seems seems bizarre that they would even talk about that. On the they, I'll tell you forum. what, they got some great SEO because they're the number one the, the top. <laughs> what is Chi? Oh, boy, they literally they, means breath, life force, or energy flow. Uh, yeah, so it's your is it your soul? You know can't say uh my life for force is chi uh yeah chi chin chong i love that 420 <laughs> user yeah you thanatos 777 posted buddhism is bullshit too over on our atheism Ooh. Reincarnation? No proof. Karma? What a bunch of victim-blaming bullshit. So bad things happen to people because they did bad things in previous lives. How convenient. Buddhism is just as bullshit as Christianity. User JYH89 responded, I understand the whole thing trying to not be a cunt as a way of life, but yes, making statements with no evidence doesn't make sense, which writes the whole thing off. Would rather people like that, though, than handing over their lives to the imaginary douche in the sky, though. <laughs> yeah, that mm. just about sums up our atheism. Yeah, um, not big fans of self-realization or dogma. So, just yeah. uh, 
Just miserable, miserable little fellas over there. Yeah, like the whole karma thing is like, you know, they're look they're interpreting it so fucking literally. It's like, oh, so everything that bad that happens because something else bad happens. Like, no, it's it's the idea is just be a good fucking person. Like, <laughs> yeah, because if you do bad things, it's good. other people will do bad things, and you know, it's just it's just be nice. And then they they read it so literally, but. Uh, I believe, uh, oh god, what episode? It was episode thirty. Was all about atheists that we did thirty. Wow, I didn't know we. I did not remember we did that episode. We did. We did a whole episode about atheism. Yeah, it was uh, almost. It's coming up on a hundred episodes ago. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just <laughs> insane to say. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, so go check that one out. Uh, a lot of the same things as uh, Christian undoubtedly remembers. <laughs> that was back when I would drink uh, four pounder beers every episode. So mm. by the end of it, had completely left my mind. Unlike uh, now, is, and like now, don't drink, <laughs> and you remember <laughs> everything, right? <laughs> nope, can't remember the fucking thing we just talked about. So that NB friend started a thread on Twitter. Mm. Sometimes I randomly remember that time a white NB told me that they had unlearned all the toxic isms and included Buddhism in that list. What's NB mean again? NB is non-binary person. (laughs) That's right. That's right. When called out, they defended saying that they really meant toxic positivity, which is definitely a thing, especially related to how white people view Buddhism, but it still felt very uncomfortable. I'm not even saying Buddhism can't be toxic and shouldn't be criticized, just that it doesn't deserve to be labeled just as bad as racism and sexism by a white person who learned about it from other white people. Mm -hmm. So I should note that this person is extremely white. Mm -hmm. Uh, Their bio reads, by uh, by non-binary, misandrist, they, them, and the last dozen or so media posts from them are screenshots from Animal Crossing. Mm. Yeah. Still went to the media tab first, though, huh? Comes up in the sidebar on desktop. <laughs> uh, sure, the sure, only sure. way to use Twitter. Ooh, that's a pervert. <laughs> uh, I noticed their last retweet is uh, another one of those kind of people saying, the English word bad is literally derived from a trans-misogynistic slur. <laughs> Cis people have been attacking us for millennia, and yet we're still here. No matter what <sighs> TERFs do, they'll never get rid of us. So... Sounds right. like we gotta keep saying the word "bad" more to get rid of these freaks. So <laughs> the word "bad," someone someone just saw a uh, a trans person like four thousand years ago and just said, mm, "They're bad." I'm gonna invent a word. <laughs> They're bad. How? How? Uh, I just okay. I I can't understand. I I just can't understand the thought process behind like where this stuff comes from. I just don't get it. I don't get it. What stuff? Just like the like fi- how how they how people find this stuff mm. out. Like bad is a, a trans slur. It's like how sure. how did you find that exactly? Well, what book did you like, crack open? A word like bad that's just three letters and is basically just a noise. You can track <laughs> back to literally anything if whatever you want it to be. First Anything. uttered by Thog, the uh, yeah. Sandrus caveman. Yeah, <laughs> Thog, the uh, the the village rapist who was king <laughs> for fifty years. Yeah, those are the days, huh? That, uh, that means these Homestar Runner uh, character Strong Bad is a turf now. We mm. should, <laughs> that would be that would be a great that thing is to start cano- on. That Twitter. is canonical, yeah. <laughs> Uh, newsflash. Yeah. yeah, all you Homestar Runner fans uh, from 16 years ago, guess what? <laughs> They're still out. They're st- I still see it. Uh, I still you know, see it. You know all those people that watched this cartoon that stopped being relevant before Twitter was even invented? <laughs> newsflash. <coughs> so I found this interesting comment in a Zen subreddit. Zen is 100% bullshit that runs on cult psychology. Mm. You don't even need to read far into it to figure out that if you know anything about human nature, 
Excuse me? Where is the scientific evidence in this, quote, Buddha nature? What exactly does this mean? Can you point to the areas of the brain that contain it? Can you measure enlightenment in a lab? What does it consist of? Does it weigh anything? Can we measure enlightenment with MRI scans, etc.? Whole pile of meaningless dog shit. Zen is pointless and dead. Meh. <laughs> Uh, nice. The user was uh, banned for this comment. Wow, which feels very unzen like. I gotta say, you know, don't seem seem like a lot of banning by the zen they, zen folk. It really goes. I mean, maybe it's it is more zen because the normal uh, Reddit tactic to responding to something like that is writing twenty five really boring paragraphs mm-hmm. uh, explaining <laughs> it. <laughs> So instead of doing that, they're just like, ah, you know what? I'm not going to waste my time. Fuck so off. That seems pretty zen. That's that is true. You're right. Very zen. <laughs> mm. Just you just you ever see one of those comments? And you're just like scrolling forever, and you're like, what is going on here? Uh, I sure do. In fact, I've made a podcast about it. <laughs> and what's that called? <laughs> uh, it's called uh, "What's Your Next Post." Which is actually so, the game show spinoff that we're going to do. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> God. Uh, you remember Marianne Williamson? The uh, the real mm-hmm. witchy, kooky yeah. presidential broad there? Real hot uh, grandma type. Right? She's not bad. She's not bad. I'll give her that. So uh, she tweeted this out a couple weeks before the election. I told my daughter this morning that if he wins again, he'll probably start rounding people up. You might get a call at some point to come bail out mommy. We both laughed nervously. Mm. Great. And uh, a gal named Dana Miriam replied, I would try to rescue you anytime at all if I could. 4 a.m. on a Sunday included. My last name is Jewish. (laughs) My last name is Jewish. I was raised Jewish, but converted to Buddhism. Size. Labels. Dangerous. Mm. And a guy named Ron Everett responded to that with, you state that you are not Jewish so that everyone knows that you are down with anti-Semitism. I'm sure mm. your people appreciate the news. Mm. <laughs> so I looked at Ron's profile, and one of the few photos that he has uploaded is a point-of-view shot of him flipping off Barack Obama on TV with the caption, Goodbye, you piece of shit, mm-hmm. that he posted back in 2017. <laughs> this guy's not a big uh, media tab user, huh? <laughs> no. he, acci- he accidentally uploaded that <laughs> he just sure. he never could figure out how to do it again uh, uh i like the uh i'll rescue you anytime especially 4 a.m on a sunday like, what <laughs> <laughs> is that it's is that it's really the, it's the only time that i really don't have anything going on i guess yeah you know, <laughs> yeah especially 4 a.m on a sunday if you can look if you get arrested reach out to me 4 a.m sunday all right i'll be there don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, I don't know why uh, the person had to uh, bring up the fact that they were they're not Jewish anymore, um, <laughs> or why they're Bo- the the Buddhist thing makes sense because if you if it seems that if you are Buddhist, that's you're just going to talk about it anyways. Yeah, we've certainly seen plenty of that this week. Um, in recent, maybe she was like, "I'm going to say I'm a Buddhist, but because you see my last name is clearly." Jewish, you're gonna be. <laughs> you're gonna think I'm lying, uh, as as those people do. Found a thread titled "The Aryan Path of the Buddha" on Stormfront.org. <laughs> German hunter master started the thread with this question: Is it the book Aryan Dharma, the Path of the Aryan? I want to order this rare book, but not find the book that called Aryan Dharma, find only book that called Aryan Path of the Buddha. Is it the same book, just with different names? Medieval Aryan responded, I honestly think Buddhism has no place among Aryan folk. It is an Asian religion and belongs in Asia. It encourages all cultures to hold hands and, quote, work together. It is not really a white nationalist ideal. Quite the opposite, actually. But user Sonderweg pointed this out. Hindu Hinduism and Buddhism was from Asia, but created by Asian white people. <laughs> Asian is not the same as yellow race, as frequently <laughs> is misused. <laughs> However, user HFZ responded to him with this. No, both Hinduism and Buddhism are non-white, corrupted forms of a lost ancient Aryan religion. <laughs> both are degenerate and have no benefit for whites. 
So <laughs> it's really hard to really hard to tell who's writing this one. <laughs> I'm I'm still stuck on the uh, how they like <laughs> classify people like you would like you're in the the rice aisle at the grocery store. It's like you got white, mm-hmm. you got yellow. <laughs> you got... They're just use rice there. I'm curious why he did that. Okay, well. <laughs> I saw the word Asian, obviously, and I just mm-hmm. mind auto, uh, automatically went there. Yeah, lost Aryan, lost ancient Aryan religion. That's right, boy. <laughs> These guys, uh, what are they talking about? Uh, Monday night football. Hmm. Am I right, fellas? See, I'm picturing uh, the- Indiana Jones searching <laughs> for that. <laughs> what would the then, what would the iconography be for that? I don't know, but. Uh, He's definitely gonna bring Round Eye. Uh, what's what's the oh shit? What Short Round? That's the kid's name. He calls Indiana <laughs> Round Eye. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> what's the, <laughs> Round Eye? <laughs> it's an ironic thing. Does, you know? does he call him Round Eye? You know what? Probably <laughs> I don't <not>. think. He- <laughs> You got the special deluxe, like edited oh, racist version right. of Temple of Doom. Well, I, in, in that I got it, it means that I personally did it. Yes, you're right. <laughs> That's right. Round eye. Good God. All right. Uh, well, speaking of uh, different races and what have you. Sure. I found this on Tumblr. Cool. Masala Mermaid posted, hippie culture is based in racism. And then a little happy face with a flower. Sure. And uh, Sophie Doodles with a Z commented, no, it wasn't. Mm. And Masala Mermaid came back with, that's nice, but hippie culture is based in racism. And then the little face again. Great. Break Your Neck replied to that with, really, though, it wasn't. Stop trying to turn everything to a race war, Tumblr. To which Masala Mermaid replied, Hippie culture continues today in people who call themselves yogis and practice smudging and wear dreadlocks. You know exactly who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. They collect crystals and tattoo themselves with Eastern religion symbols and pretend they are one with the earth. Hippie culture is based entirely on the etoxification of marginalized cultures. Mm. Or excuse me, e- e- exotification yeah. of marginalized cultures. Woof, that's a word. Sure is. Hippies have a fundamental misunderstanding of the pieces of the cultures that they use. The understanding that they have these cultural aspects stems from racist interpretations of these cultures based on anthropology. But at the time of the inception of the hippie movement, anthropology was still being used to show that other races were inferior to white people. White hippies like to think that they're the least racist of all whites, or even not racist at all. They think their appropriation of our cultures and history is acceptance when it couldn't be further from it. The whole point of being a hippie is being free, a better and softer word for uncivilized, Mm. which is what they ultimately consider us. Mm. And if you think people of color talking about our experiences and things that affect us is turning everything into a race war, then you're probably a racist. Right. Mm. So... Unfortunately, Masala Mermaid's Tumblr has been deactivated, uh, but I did find her Reddit account okay. where she posts almost exclusively to our female dating strategy, our porn is misogyny, mm. and our K-pop help. Mm. <laughs> uh, what's the help exactly? What do you... The help is that uh, I can't stop listening to it. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that sounds that. Yep, y- yep, all of that. Checks out completely. Uh, exotification of marginalized cultures. Sounds cool. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to start doing that. <clears throat> you start exotifying? Yeah, that's right. Uh, here's the thing is like hippie culture is like it's it's just a, it's a, it's its own thing, right? Like it's just like true. Um it's a peace and love. I mean, it takes aspects of different belief systems yeah. for sure. Uh, but so does every other, other thing too. That, yeah. The, the, the line in here about how uh, anthropology was still being used to, uh, to look down and make other races inferior, uh, seen as how that was in the 1960s, probably not 100% wrong. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, 
the I think what they're talking about now, though, is more so of the people that call themselves hippies now, which is like people that go to Burning Man and or uh, own coffee shops. Oh, yeah, but that it's like it's so far shops. removed from like any hippies now are just, you know, they're a copy of a copy of it. Like they're. Oh, sure. They're go- they're calling back to like 90s callbacks to 70s hippies. You know what I mean? Like, sure. So it's it's all. It's all just uh, hey, I like uh, I like these cool pants, <laughs> and so I'm going to, and I like the idea of just hanging out. So I'm a hippie now. You know, yeah, it's so far removed from anything. You cannot wear pants like Aladdin that look like the pants from Aladdin if you are not of a uh, Middle Eastern descent, even if you call yourself a hippie. Mm. So keep that in mind. Uh, what about just uh? Wearing sweatpants 100% of the time is, is now my my favor. So you do the thing, and then you push them up, like, on your calf, so they're kind of, like, they're, like... <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> right. Like, cut, yeah. And I have a so like, kind of like teeny pants that I, I carry around. <laughs> You're just t- and a, tucked and into the waistband. with a jewel in it. But, but I've been doing that one for a while. You know that. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> So I found a book on Amazon titled A Short Walk on an Ancient Path, A Buddhist Exploration of Meditation, Karma, and Rebirth. Here's the about section. This easy-to-read book takes you on a journey into the Buddha's worldview, and you will learn practical mindfulness methods of breath meditation, loving-kindness, and walking meditation to enhance health, well-being, and insight. The this, this subtitle describes its major themes, A Buddhist Exploration of Meditation, Karma, and Rebirth. Seems pleasant enough, um, but this book was written by a gentleman named Brian Ruhi, who runs a blog titled Thule Society, Oh, <laughs> and here's its about page. <laughs> I have written out my worldview of reality in about 20 pages here. In a four-sentence nutshell, I generally believe David Ick's view that a group of reptilians control our governments through the Rothschilds. They are held in check by higher aliens, and they work through the Jewish establishment. The Jewish elite suppress the truth about UFOs and advanced ancient civilizations of extreme antiquity. We need to topple Jewish power and disclose these truths to provide the world with tremendous benefits such as free energy. My political worldview is National Socialism as created by Adolf Hitler. This is the best political system known in recorded history. The Fuhrer set it up to be 1,000 years of peace and prosperity, and it was well on its way to achieving that. I recommend this for individual nations and cultures to protect themselves with such a system adapted to their country. I am opposed to the evil globalism that has been rearing its ugly head over the past century. If wholesome national socialism grew across the nations and some kind of just world order developed into a world government in the future, I approve of that ideal. For now, down with the Jew world order. And uh, included is a picture of him, and he is sporting a full-time Hitler mustache, just out and about with that thing. <laughs> and the... I'm looking at him. <laughs> doesn't he look great? <laughs> it's got the haircut, too. Yeah. And uh, the header of the blog shows a man standing on a mountaintop with the quote, only for the very few who face great truth and embrace it, with a sort of Jedi ghost looking Hitler looking down on the guy. <laughs> Just sort of. <laughs> that absolutely rocks. Yeah. It is truly remarkable. And he also spends quite a bit of time on the blog talking about uh, Buddhism. So. Yeah. His two loves. He has a bunch of books yeah. on Buddhism. Huh? Yeah, this guy's a big time uh, Buddhist guy, apparently, but also thinks uh, Jews are controlled by reptiles. So, <laughs> talking, so he has a website and he has his his talks on here. Mm-hmm. And one, the one that comes up is Jewish control over Buddhism, number twenty seven. So it's a, oh the twenty seventh. <laughs> How the twenty seventh. A time, or he's put together a presentation. Of course, it's just PowerPoint. It's great. Mm. That rocks. Yep. Hey, folks, I'm back again to talk about this same thing. Oh, Yo, God, what's up, folks? Guy, <laughs> what's up, YouTubers? We're back at oh, that'd it. Be, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. 
And once again, remember, like and subscribe, y'all. See y'all later next week. I'm out of here. And folks, if you want to reach Nirvana, all you have to do is head over to patreon.com slash report this post to get the rest of this episode. We have about an hour and ten extra minutes of posts. And of course, you'll get the full episodes of uh, all the previous episodes. And uh, we also have weekly bonus episodes that uh, cover the gamut from uh, Christian and I ranting about uh chicken sandwiches to uh, little mini episodes called Report This Short, which is basically the exact same thing as this show, but uh, about half the length and uh, of a whole different topic. Whatever the hell's going on, we just did a whole Hanukkah-themed Report This Short episode, which, uh, as you can imagine, uh, <laughs> there was some there's some real good content from uh, folks who may not appreciate what our uh, our good friends uh, of the Jewish persuasion have gifted to the world. So uh, just go over there right now. Five bucks a month, you get you get all those great episodes. Uh, and then you can also upgrade to a level that allows you to choose a topic, uh, just like next week's episode was one chosen by listeners. Uh, and to figure out what the hell next week's episode is, you can actually buy your Patreon membership, uh, because it'll tell you, the full episodes, we tell you what next week's episode is, and that, that that's a, such a thrill to know that. You'll know it before all the normal people that listen to the show, all the regular folks, all the freaks who can't afford five bucks a month. And then you can brag to all your friends that you're a, a full-time, full-money patron uh, paying 25 damn dollars a month uh, for a podcast. Uh which is uh, insane to me, but some people do it. Uh, I would never pay any money for a podcast, but uh, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. Uh, goodbye, everybody. <laughs>